it's really fascinating to think about your brain having this dedicated structure to recognize failure and when it recognizes failure it decreases motivation what do we know about the neuroscience the neurochemistry in like what is going on and what physical phenomenon un- unconscious phenomenon are related to this habenula telling your brain like just stop trying because you're going to fail so I like to think about it like a car. So you've got a brake pedal and a gas pedal. And for the longest time, my whole career has been really trying to figure out how to optimize that gas pedal, like the Nike, just do it and go, go, go and challenges and steps, challenges and winner leaderboards and, and, you know, financial awards and all those kinds of things. And that was all dopamine, you know, that the gas pedal is the dopamine and everybody's been designing for dopamine for forever, right? All of us. And then what happened in my research with the Walmart Associates is I realized, and looking at the habenula, looking at the neuroscience of motivation is that, oh my gosh, the brake's been on the whole time. So just like in a real car, if you're punching the gas like crazy, but you've got the brake on, you're not going anywhere. So now my shift, my, my thinking has shifted to let's design for the brake, you know? And the more I went into this, the habenula is also really tricky because substance of, of addiction, will bind to the habenula and remove the brakes. And then you can go after your addiction all day long with your gas pedal and drive your car over a, a cliff. So there's real, real consequences of this. The other thing that I think is fascinating about the habenula is that it's actually now the smoking gun for depression and anxiety. So if I think I failed, then that that failure begets failure. You know, if I think I failed, then that failness, you know, leads to more failingness. And I become lower and lower and lower and sink lower and lower. And they show this in animal studies. They show this in humans. And this is, this is the problem. I think we all need to focus on what is making me think that I failed and what are all the ways that I can recover from that. 